next topic is it's part of function but i need to cover pointers also so that's why i'm taking it now so there are two ways of calling a function it's function called by value or function called by reference so let's discuss the difference between the two so we know that functions have some input values which are called the parameters or the arguments they are passed to the function and the function is operating on these values so parameters received by the function are called formal parameters and the real parameters that we give during the function call they are the actual parameters and there are two ways to pass the parameters pass by value in that method the values of the actual parameters are copied to the function's formal parameters and the two types of parameters are stored in different locations so any changes made inside the function are not reflected in actual parameters so just remember that last line any changes made inside the function are not reflected in actual parameters because a copy of the parameter is made and what all uh, to be done inside the function is done only on these copies not on the real values so at inside the function there are some changes that are occurring but that change is not permanent once it is outside the function the values remain unchanged because all these operations were done on the copies of the variables whereas in pass by reference both actual and formal parameters refer to the same location because of that any changes that are made inside the function will get reflected even outside the function so that permanent change happens if we call a function by reference in call by value that change will not be permanent so that's a basic difference we'll make it more clear so in call by value the method copies the original value into the function as arguments it call by reference it copy the address of the argument so whenever we pass an address location the change will be permanent because whatever things are to be done it is done at the memory location so change is made on the actual value not on the copy second change is changes made to the parameter inside the function have no effect on the argument in case of call by value but in call by reference this changes made to the parameter will affect the argument or will affect the actual parameter because address is used to access the actual argument and third is actual and formal arguments will be created in different memory locations in case of call by value but in case of call by reference actual and formal arguments will be in the same memory location so this is a very simple uh, figure that i uh, so in pass by reference you can see that this let the function name be fill cup so what is the function doing it is to fill that cup you can see the difference when cup is filled both here also it is filled so pass by reference means fill cup function what it is doing it is filling the cup that change is seen in the original value also but in case of pass by value here it is filling but here there is no change so you can compare these two it's a very simple pictorial representation just to understand the difference okay i think it is more clear so whatever change is made in the function it is not reflected in the real value in case of pass by value but in case of pass by reference whatever happens here is seen in the main value also okay so changes made to the formal parameter do not get transmitted back to the caller in case of pass by value this method is called call by value again pass by reference any changes to the formal parameter are reflected in the actual parameter in the calling environment as formal parameter receives a reference so this is the word it is receiving a reference or pointer to the actual data this method is called call by reference let's get a more clear description with this example code so i am writing a function for swapping two values we have already discussed that program for example is a is 10 and b is 20 now we want to interchange the values okay so for that i am writing it as two functions a swap 1 and swap 2 okay swap 1 is the, the what we write in the normal way that is called by value so this will be 
called by value method and second I am using to pointer. So pointer means it is connected to the address location. So that is called by reference method. So two way I am writing the function. So in the main function, so function declaration is over. In one case swap 1 we are passing to integer values. In swap 2 function we are passing to integer pointers. Okay. Then in main function we declare two integer variables then enter two numbers and user is asked to give two numbers and they are saved in A and B. Now it is more clear we are using scan of AND A and B AND represents memory address. Okay so AND A means at the location of A it is saving the first value at the location of B it is saving the second value. Okay address of operator that is AND operator. This AND symbol is address of operator. Then print of values of A and B initially. That means we are not even entering the function. User gave two values and we are just printing the values. A equals percentage D and B equals percentage D. In these two locations we print A and B. So this is the first step. Then we are calling the first function. This is again called by value. So called by value means we know that when in called by value a call of these arguments a and b are passed so because of that even when the two values are swapped inside the function when it comes back that change will not be reflected so what i expect here after calling swap one values of a and b will should remain the same because this is called by value okay we can give that also called by value method okay so in called by value method what will happen only change is made in the function. So there won't be any change here at line number 14. Then I call the second function swap2 here. When the arguments are pointers, then the value to be passed is address. Okay, so and A and B. So address of A and address of B are passed. So when address locations are passed, that means the changes will be permanent. So it is which method called by reference method. So when call by reference method is done, the change will be permanent. So here after calling swap2, if we print the values, there will be change in the value because this is which method? It is called by reference method. I hope it's clear. So what we are doing is for to understand it better, we are giving the print values of A and B before Initially, we are giving the print of A and B. Then after call by value method, we are printing. Then after call by reference, we are printing the values of A and B. So now at this point, at line number 20, main function is over. Now what is remaining? We gave function declaration of both functions. Then function call of both functions. And now function definition is remaining. Swap 1. Here, this is called by value. In call by value, all the functions we have uh, uh, explained earlier, are normally function it's called by value only so swap 1 int m and int n how to swap two values we have a temporary variable say t t equals m m equals n n equals t how we do swapping uh, we have explained earlier so no need to go to it so this is a very simple call to swap two values t is the temporary variable only using a temporary variable we can swap the two values in second function what we are doing we are doing the same thing but it is called by reference method. So the, the arguments are pointers and they are dealing with the address locations. So we know that when M is a pointer, the value that it is pointing to, it is obtained only using the dereferencing operator, which is star. So if I write int M equals M, that is wrong because M contains only the address location and we are not interested in the address location. So you should write it temp equals star m, star m equals star n, star n equals temp. Okay, so you can compare these two so you can understand how we write uh, functions with the pointers. So this swap one is a function which uh, demonstrates call by value method and swap two function demonstrates call by reference method. So here in the, uh, uh, the function arguments or parameters are pointers. And they are, well, it is called, how that function is called? By passing the address of the locations. Because address corresponds to pointers. So that is the only thing which you should be careful.
careful when you write function with the pointers as arguments. Okay. So let's check the output. The output from the output it will be very clear the difference. So let the first value be 10 and the second value be 100. So initially a is 10 and b is 100. Then after calling swap one function that is called by value. Called by value means after coming out what will happen there is no change. So even though it got swapped during the function outside swap 1 the value remains the same because whatever happened inside the function that change is not reflected in the main values. Then after calling swap 2 what will happen? Call by reference method it is. So value of a and b after swap 2 is a is 100 and b is 10. Now it is swapped. So in, inside both functions inside swap 1 as well as inside swap 2 what happened? Values got interchanged. But coming outside swap 1 that change is not reflected. But after swap 2 the change is reflected. This is the difference between call by value and 